The Black Oxygen Inspiration Podcast is sponsored by Black Oxygen Bangin' Barbecue Sauce. Makes your taste buds sing. Order it now at blackoxygenmusic.com. So I, I wrote the song basically, and I, I remember I called it Epic. I was like, yo, Epic. I'm going to do a song about my girl. And he's like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, no, dude, we're going to do this shit. Basically, you know, we had this little thing where I would like give her butterflies all the time. So I remember I was laying on, I was like thinking of what I was going to name the song. And I was like, butterfly. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it was a very natural thing that that's why like a magic happened is it was just like, I wasn't trying to write a hit. I just wrote, it was like a little piece of poetry I wrote to my girl and it was like special. And I remember like, you know, I was on some stoner, like fucking earthy shit. And I was like, it needs to sound like under the bridge. Yeah. And so Brett, who's like, you know, that's the other thing. As I hear motherfuckers like, oh, they have a hit and they sampled the fucking red hot chili peppers. And it's like, (laughs) It's only like the five seconds or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what hip hop is. Yes, absolutely. Now there's a creative sample and there's a fucking sample that's kind of like it sounds uh, totally different. Like Like for instance, if we had sampled under the bridge, uh huh. It's like, bro, you took a hit song to make your hit song. Which people do all the time now, right? What we did is we listened to the album and we found some obscure little thing called Pretty Little Diddy, which if you don't know the Red Hot Chili Peppers or listen to like Mother Smoke, you would have never heard it. So we didn't take, that's why they cleared it. Mm -hmm. It was like a whole thing. They said, every time we get a sample is someone sampling one of our hits. Right, right. They said, this is, I believe it was the first sample they had ever cleared. And they said, because- Sampling is an art and you did it the right way. You took something that was obscure on our album and made it into something new and special. And that's what sampling is. Exactly. I mean, if you want to talk about people who have had hits with sampling, like talk shit to Tupac, (laughs) talk shit to Dr. (laughs) Dre. It's like, 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 understand that I'm a hip hop kid who added instruments and wanted to rock. Yeah. So like for me, yeah, I sampled a dope little obscure fucking red hot chili peppers thing and not only did they clear it but their management picked us up and the red hot chili peppers took us on tour so it's like the the peppers co-signed that sample yeah exactly but like you know there's always these people bring it up